there's a moment when you sort of see, because one of the most common, I think, aspects of deep trauma is this sort of out of body experience where you feel like you are watching yourself. I think many people report that sort of sensation. And you see yourself with an uncanny clarity. And it's, un it's a clarity that you, thankfully, are not afforded in your daily life because life doesn't go to such extremes that requires it. But I remember very vividly looking down and almost seeing my life branching out before me as a set of options, all equally viable at that moment. And one of them was choosing to be hopeful. But I wouldn't say that looking back on that, the sensation I felt was that um, I was staring at a forked path between hope right. and hopelessness and hope one. It was more that I felt myself at the branching of multiple paths, one of them, quite frankly, including ending my own life. I don't think that's an right. uncommon thought for people who lose children. Um, and I think it's important to say that as well, to reduce the stigma around the idea that you would then regard your life as inherently worthless, because it's a scary thought. I think anyone who's ever had that thought is frightened by it. But I also think it's important to acknowledge that out of all those options, that was also present for me. I saw that option very clearly. And out of those options, I chose hope. But like I said earlier, I don't know that I made right. that decision incontrovertibly. There were many moments along that path where I had to re-choose. Right. 